grade 6 mathematics teacher. At your service! Allow me to guide you in accomplishing the learner's activity sheets in Mathematics 6 for Quarter 3. I hope you have with you a copy of your last for week number 2. On this video, we will focus on milk number 6. The topic is differentiating expressions from equations. And with the learning competency, Differentiates expressions from equations. Are you ready to learn? Let's begin with a little trivia. Do you know that when we write a general rule for a number pattern, we use numerals called constants and letters called variables? Instead of writing 5 times x, we may simply write 5x. 5x is considered an expression. The numeral 5 is the constant, while the letter x is the variable. A variable stands in place of a numeral. In combining them, we write the constant first before the variable. If possible, Avoid using the multiplication symbol x to represent multiplication since it can also be used as a variable. Previously, I mentioned about expressions. Do you know how to write an expression correctly? As a warm-up activity, kindly answer this drill. Directions from the given below, draw a check if the given expression is written correctly. I will be giving you 10 seconds to answer. Your timer starts now. Time is up. Let's check your answers. The correct answers are x plus 2 over b and a plus c. f4 is incorrect since the variable f comes before the constant 4. Did you get it right? Good job! Since you already know how to write an expression correctly, let me give you more information what an expression is. An expression is a mathematical phrase that includes variables, constants, and operation symbols, wherein the variables can change values. Here are some of the examples of expressions. We have 5x which is composed of a constant 5 and a variable x. We have x minus y, which is composed of two variables separated by the operation symbol minus. We also have 8x plus 4y, a squared bc, a open parenthesis, b plus c close parenthesis, and a plus 2 over b. This time, let's deal with an equation. An equation is a mathematical sentence indicating equality between expressions using the symbol is equal to, wherein the variables have fixed values. Here are some examples of equations. We have a plus b is equal to ab. We also have 6a is equal to 12. We also have 5 open parentheses x minus y 
close parentheses equals 4. Then we have x cubed is equal to 2y. And lastly, we have 2x plus 5 over y is equal to 18z. To summarize, an expression is different from an equation. Here are some main points that distinguish an expression from an equation. First, an expression is considered a mathematical phrase while an equation is considered a mathematical sentence. Second, both expression and equation include variables, constants, and operation symbols. However, only an equation uses the is equal to symbol since it indicates equality between expressions. Lastly, an expression has variables that can change values while an equation has variables that have fixed values. Moving on, let's apply what you have learned by answering Activity A. Directions Classify the given as expression or equation. Write EX for expression and EQ for equation on the space provided before each number. Here are the given five items. I will answer item number one, then you are going to answer the remaining four items afterwards. The first given is 3a plus b. Is it an expression or an equation? Do I write ex or eq? The correct answer is ex. The given has variable and constant. However, there is no is equal to symbol. Therefore, it is only an expression. Did you get it right? Great job! This time, I am giving you 20 seconds to answer item numbers 2 to 5. Your timer starts now. Time is up. Let's answer number two. In number two, the given is 24x. The correct answer is EX. You're doing great. Next, we have in number three, 5x, open parenthesis, 3 plus y, close parenthesis. The correct answer is EX. Good job. Next, we have in number 4, a squared plus b squared is equal to 25. The correct answer is eq. Good job! Last, we have 45x is equal to x cubed plus y. The correct answer is eq. You're doing great! I hope the lesson gets clearer to you by now because at this point, you will answer Activity B, wherein you are going to read each statement and tell if it is true or false. Directions, write T if the statement is true, F if it is false. 
Here are the five given statements. Again, I will answer the first item for you to be guided. Number one, an expression doesn't have an equal symbol. An equation has. Is it true or false? Should you write T or F? The correct answer is T because the statement is correct. Did you get the correct answer? Great job! It's your turn to answer the remaining four items. I will be giving you 20 seconds to answer. Your timer starts now. Are you finished? Time is up! Let's check! Item 2 In an expression, the value of the variable can change. In an equation, it is fixed. Is your answer T? You're doing great! Number 3 Both an expression and an equation Include constants, variables, and operation symbols. The correct answer is T. Did you get it right? Great job! Item 4. An equation is a mathematical sentence while an expression is a mathematical phrase. Did you write T as your answer? You're doing great! down to the last item in activity B. Number 5. In writing an expression and an equation, it is clearer to understand if we use the symbol X to indicate multiplication. The answer is F. Is your answer correct? Good job! Did you have fun answering the previous activity? Do you still want more? Let's go! As your last activity, complete each statement. Here is an example of what you should do. 5a plus 2 is an expression and not an equation. You will simply write the terms expression and equation on the blanks you have five items to answer this time can you do it you have 50 seconds to answer your timer starts now good luck kids Are you finished? Let's check! Here is the answer for number 1. 18K is an expression and not an equation. Did you get it right? You're doing great! Let's move on to item number 2. 4B is equal to A cubed plus 2 is an equation and not an expression. Is your answer correct? Great job! For item 3, this is the answer. P is equal to 4S 
is an equation and not an expression. Did you answer it correctly? Great job! Number 4. Here is the answer. V is equal to S cubed is an equation and not an expression. Is your answer the same? Good job! For number 5, B is equal to one third AH is an equation and not an expression. Did you have the same answer? You're doing great! Congratulations, kids! You were able to perform all the activities intended for milk number 6. With that, I can affirm that you are now ready for the next topic. I hope you enjoyed learning with me. Again, this is Teacher Yang. Please join me again next week for another lesson. See you!